Interest rates have been low recently, so anybody who had put themselves in some major debt, it's actually convincing them to maybe consolidate all that debt. Well, is that necessarily a good thing? Not always. Our financial expert, Kevin Meyerhoff, is here to tell you why debt consolidation could be a bad thing for you. Welcome back to the show, Thank Kevin. Thank you. All right, I'm just going to read through why debt consolidation... Uh, uh, different way, types different of ways of debt right. consolidation, then we'll go into um, why it could possibly be bad. So five ways. Debt consolidation loans, balance transfer to zero percent credit cards, home equity loans, lines of credit, and managing, not adding debt. So, where do we start? Well, let's, let's look at the big picture. Um, the idea behind debt consolidation is you have all these, you know, multiple credit cards, you might have a student loan, some car loan, and you, they're all, some are 20%, some are 15%, and the payments, you just can't afford it anymore, and you want to pull them all together and put them in one place with a lower interest rate and lower payments. That, that's the idea behind it. But here's the problem. You clear out all your credit cards, you clear out your student loans, you clear out your car loan, you put it all in one place so you got one lower payment. The statistics show that 70% of people that do that, two years later, wind up with all that credit card back, the debt. Why is that? Because it almost, it's almost a false sense of security because you're only seeing one payment. You know so. why? Because they never solved the problem. They thought their problem was they had too much debt. Their problem is they spent too much. Right. And, and then you got to figure out why. What's causing you to spend too much? Are you living above your means? Are you, do you have a, uh, some issue with shopping? You know, what's, so you got to solve that problem first. So solve the problem, then one of these techniques may make sense. So let's go through some of these and talk about the pluses and the minuses okay. of them. All right. Uh, so we'll start with the debt consolidation loan. That's when you go to a bank and you tell the bank, listen, I'm paying uh, $1,500 a month in, in payments right now. If you consolidate all this, it'll only be $900 a month. And I'm making these payments without a problem now. Here's my income. Here's how I work. Now, the, the downside is you actually have to have somewhat decent credit very good credit actually to get a good interest rate and the reality is if you had very good credit you probably wouldn't have all this credit card exactly. debt to begin with exactly and so you may wind up with a with an interest rate a debt consolidation that may be 15 16 17 percent so it'll all be in one place but you haven't solved your you haven't done anything for yourself other than clear your credit cards out so you could use them again which causes a problem so debt consolidation is not necessarily one of my favorite ways now the one that a lot of people use is balance transfer zero percent credit cards that's right zero percent credit cards we they, they used to come like once a week now they don't come quite as often right. but when you see those there's a downside to those also first of all the zero percent is only for a very short period of time it could be 60 days could be 90 days sometimes even six months but you have to know when it ends because when it ends you go back to that 22 23 percent interest rate now while it's zero percent you still have to make payments you miss one payment late on one payment and they start charging you that 22 percent from the beginning not just from then on, they go back to the beginning and start charging you in many cases. And when one runs out, people try to find another one they transfer right. to. If you constantly transfer from one to the next to the next, you're gonna damage your credit score. Okay, all right, well the next, a lot of people use home equity loans. Yeah, home equity loans and home equity lines of credit. The difference between the two is a home equity loan is when you get a set amount. Give me $20,000, I'm gonna pay off all my cards. Home equity line of credit is when you get a checkbook and an amount of credit that you could borrow up to. Okay. So both of these, the rules are exactly the same. They're tax deductible, which is nice. They usually have the lowest interest rate. It's been prime, even prime minus one in a lot of places, but those rates I've seen in the last month go up. All right, we have about 30 seconds. Managing, not adding debt. This Pretty is, simple. Yeah, and this is my favorite. Managing is mean, let's solve the problem. What's causing this problem to take place? And then don't add to your debt and just start paying it off where it is. Now to do this, you want to see credit counseling. And one of the most common questions I'll get right after this is, who should I go to? We don't make any recommendations. But look for a credit counselor that's not for profit. I'm not talking about somebody that'll get rid of your debt. So a credit counselor. All right. As always, wonderful information. If you have a financial question, you can contact Kevin at money at WKYC.com.